gosh, what an absolutely That's massive really play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Happy Friday, woo! Everyone's having a good time on Friday, probably. Maybe not. Someone's probably giving birth, probably not having a great time. Um, or other bad things are happening. Maybe somewhere. Who knows? Anyway, happy craziest week of Fight for First ever, probably. Our, this week has been absolutely nuts. If you guys haven't watched it, and I said this last time, but I mean it, go back and watch it if you want. But it was cool. I think it's been crazy. We've been up and down, high and low. We are in sixth, I think, by like one point. Everybody knows what Friday means. Besides this Hydreigon team that Hydreigon, Hydreigon do something this time. Everybody knows that on Friday, every Friday is Fedora Friday. Yeah. No, even I don't do that. Um, let's go. <laughs> Isn't that cool though, Fedora Friday? Look, it just arrives so well. Like, look at this. I'll do a hat trick, watch this. Or watch, watch for a battle. Ready? I'm gonna like flip this around. It's gonna land on my head. Like this. Ready? One, two. Hoo ya! 1915. This is the real thing. This is what we come for. Uh, whew. Oh, Jesus. You piece of shit, Cloyster. So, Cloyster's a total trash mod. I hate it. Uh, I hate anyone who uses Cloyster. If you ever thought about using Cloyster, if you are a Cloyster, if your mom was a Cloyster, like literally consider your life and then just no. Uh, I'm gonna go Buzzwall, I'm gonna go Porygon, and I think I'm gonna go... Oh no! Celesteela. Woo! Why am I doing this? This is a good question. You think that's Dazzling Gleam Gengar? I'm so fucked. <laughs> I'm fucked that's Dazzling Gleam Gengar. Um... I would go Mimikyu, but I feel like Heavy Slam's gonna come in. And it's just gonna like, it's just gonna get me, you know? I'm just not about that life. Buzzwall does have Earthquake that should pick up a Mega Gengar. I mean, it's a Buzzwall. It basically spells swole in its name if a Z was an S. Buzz swole. Like, what the heck? That's a Gengar lead. Oh, it's a Cloyster lead. You douche. Okay. Uh, I'm probably gonna, should I superpower or should I earthquake? Do I expect the switch? Let's say he's plus dose. Now we take those. But like at the same time, I also don't want to have to take it. Oh, I'll be minus one defense. No, no, no. That was really clever. He's probably focus sash. I'm gonna earthquake because I can take a whole set at plus two. I can take it. What? What are we doing? I was supposed to, you were supposed to think that I was gonna superpower. And then if I superpowered. No, what is this toxic spikes shit? Did I bring Celesteela at least? Okay, at least it's up in the air. I don't wanna go down my. Oh, Another earthquake's not gonna kill it. He hydro pumped me. What is, what is this? What is this set? What is this set? Oh my god. I mean, none of that was expected. I didn't even know Cloyster got Hydro Pump. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've never even seen that before. I do get an attack boost, though. Woo! So that makes up. I do have minus one defense, but if it's Gengar, I'm pretty sure I survive. I'm not sure if he knows. The fact that he's using Toxic Spikes Cloyster makes me think. No, it's close. God, that's gonna kill me. Okay, what's important to save? What's important to dump? Mm, depends what he's got in the back. I think Porygon would love to come out. Although then again, if he's toxic, maybe we send in Celesteela. I just think that's also toxic spikes. What do you think? I'll go Celesteela. Gotta be careful about the Encore, so I'm not going to do anything stupid. I probably will. I'll probably do something stupid. Oh, there it is. I was wondering if you had that. So I'm not gonna sub. Big flamethrower, I think, yeah. I think I'm gonna like that. Okay, into what? Gengar, hmm. Interesting. I doubt this is a two shot. 
I do have some investment though. Not bad. You think it's Mega? If I switch into the Paris song, I wish I was Heavy Slam. If I switch to the Paris song, then he subs. So three, sub, protect. I can Ice Punch Punish though. I can Ice Punch Punish on the last turn if he's not gonna KO me. I am gonna take Poison here though. Ew. Yep. Hoping for a Parish. You know, they should ban, um... Oh, I'm poisoned! <sighs> Planned. <laughs> they should get rid of Destiny Bond and singles. Like, that's just complete garbage. Like, I'm sorry, but I think it's complete garbage. Earthquake here, just in case. I'm hoping he fishes for the KO with a Sludge Bomb. That's gonna kill me. That's definitely a psychic move, right? Feels so good. Assault vest buzz. So feels good, man. Feels real good. I'm feeling really good about this first match so far. Maybe because we've <laughs> came across Toxic Spikes Cloister. This guy was ranked pretty. Re I actually didn't see the ranking. I was too busy doing Fedora Friday. No, it was like 19, 18, 19, 18, 15, 19, 15. 1800 plus is at least decent. That's not beast boost, right? So I'm free to punch it. Cause I'm not gonna save this. 1915, what the? Does any of this make sense to you? Or is he just not ready for like, buzzwool? Ew. It's protect. Ew. Protect encore. Okay, you only have so many moves left. Toxic stall. This is gonna be toxic stall. That's what it is. That's what he's looking for. Although, I'm going to be regular poison when Porygon hits the field, aren't I? I should be. Because he only got a one Toxic Spike, and then he started Hydro Pump. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Leech Seed. Oh, I'm the fastest Celesteel around. I'm like, oh, catch this spaceship, nerd. Yeah, I don't know. It would have been really... Oh, it's the sub Leech Seed one, isn't it? Sub Leech Seed Encore Protect. I two shot even if you, because if you leech seed then you get up a it's over now. But if you leech seed and you get up a sub the same way that Celesteela does it, it's an like if you have leftovers and leech seed you automatically like beat anything, right? So long as you survive one attack. So if he can bring it down to a one on one with Whimsicott and he doesn't miss leech seed, theoretically he should win the game. That should win a one on one against anything that can get leech seeded. Which is really neat, because it's Prankster, right? So you're going to get it off, and then you can Encore if they're trying to, like, recover health. I like it. I like it a lot. That's kind of neat. Didn't work here. It also would have been tough for him, because I could have kept switching out, and then I probably could have actually stalled out the, uh, the Leech Seeds. Because that used to happen to my cells deal all the time. 1927. We're in 5th. 1 behind 4th. For Fedora Friday! 1. 3! Tried really hard. Uh, Brox, it. Oh, this guy is just is legitimately using his favorites, but it looks terrifying. I don't know what half of these things do. God, I wish I was Draco Meteor Hydreigon. <laughs> I don't know what anything does over there. Like, I kind of want to kick something with Feramosa, but at the same time, like, I'm not so I'm not so confident in that. Kamo looks like a threat. Could lead Incineroar. I can see that happening. I'm feeling this. This is usually my go-to kind. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm going to try to stall him out. Mimikyu is good against Mimikyu and Como. Neutral against, as long as I get play rough. Neutral against Vika Vault. Good against Decidueye, but obviously they super affect each other. I got like three lives with it, though. I don't know what the... I've never seen Bruxish. I didn't even see it in game. So this is gonna be the first time. Porygon, pretty decent against 
theoretically everything except for Kumo. Gotta have a great switch into Kumo, so I'm hoping he doesn't lead Kumo. Ah, uh, Celesteela was probably a mistake. Do I have, um, maybe the Hydreigon was the right play there. He had a Vika Vault. Decidue. I don't know how fast Decidue. It's not that fast, though. He had the, the but I'm sure the fire thing has got a fighting move, right? We're going to find out. Vika Vault. Okay, we toxic that. He'll probably Vault Switch, but it's also slow. And I'm going to get, oh. <gasps> That's kind of neat. I already feel like I should be levitating, but whatever. Uh, I am getting toxic. It's a ball. That's bulky. It's probably a salt vest. Preferably slower than my Porygon. Oh yes, Porygon, you god. Puddles the duck, everybody. Puddles the duck. Vault switch out. Yeah, but it's too late. I bet you he runs over basically for a uh, speed. Celesteela, I mean, he might have that kind of investment just so he can do that and freely get out because a lot of Celesteela like Flintor and stuff, but um, I actually added some stuff, so it's nice. Mm, definitely want to save. It's fighting into Celesteela isn't the greatest. Will he call that and go and stop Mimikyu? I don't know, Mimikyu kind of resists everything, most of the things he can do. I run one on my doubles team right now. Uh, my patrons actually have been seeing it. We're actually 25th in the, top 25 in the US, I think. Somewhere up there right now. Um, we use a Kamo. It's actually pretty neat. That's Kamo. Kamo. Um, I don't know the kind of defense it has. I'm really tempted to just punish him for being out here. Yeah, Shadow Claw kind of does shit damage. Honestly, Mimikyu's really shit without a Swords Dance. And I was going to be like, why aren't you Swords Dancing? Why aren't you Swords Dancing? Fuck yourselves. I'm going to want to switch because he's going to go into something else. Yeah. Ooh, see? Now we get to break this for free. Swag. Okay. Here's the deal, though. Mm, no, yeah. Mm, no. Mm, mm. Two Shadow Claws? Worth? I'll end up losing Disguise and taking a Shadow Sneak. Can I beat Kamo without this Mimikyu? Like, how protected do I want to leave Mimikyu in order to beat Kamo is the big question, I guess. I might Shadow Claw and then go into Celesteela, actually, to finish him off. I wish I was Heavy Slam, though. Ooh, I did outspeed. Oh, I really want a Shadow Sneak now. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Stop me. I'm actually going to switch. No, well, the Mimikyu's going to outspeed the Celesteela, and I'll get burned. I'm going to Shadow Sneak. I outsped him. I think I'll outspeed him again. Oh, he withdrew. V Vika? Good thing I didn't go to Celesteela. Uh, that is toxic, which is nice. Shadow Sneak. Boom. Rocky Helmet Vika Vault. You. Okay, so here's the here's the deal. What do I do? <laughs> um. Cell steal at full health. If I can get up a thing, he's gonna vault switch. But he's gonna be slower than me. So if I go into Porygon, he's just gonna vault switch into Kamo. Yeah, that's probably okay. I don't want to. I don't want Celestia to take that damage. In fact, I'll go to Pori, and then I think I'm gonna go into Celestia. Oh, he stayed in. Did big damage, but look, he's taking his his clock is ticking. I could Ice Beam here. How important is this Porygon to me? I think this beats Vika Vault. And so one thing that I actually have that can 100% beat Vika Vault. But, 
That's, uh, I mean, one Ice Beam is not bad damage on Kumo at all, but Kumo will outspeed me. Am I okay with being at half? I can't switch this in again if it's at half. Is that okay with me for the half damage onto Kamo? I won't. No, actually, I'll hit the I'll hit this Vika Vault because it's so slow. I'm gonna recover. Yeah. Then he'll Vault Switch, and I'll have I'll have a decent amount of health. Yeah. So here's the here's the deal. I mean, do I go to Mimikyu? Because it's obvious. What else does Kamo learn? I mean, it doesn't seem like it can really hit the Mimikyu. If he hits the Mimikyu, is it the end of the world either? No. He hasn't even broken Disguise. Let me take a look at this. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, I can probably donk that Vika Vault. The question is, how much does Celestia take as a, as a focus blast? Pretty big damage. I'm going to go to Mimikyu. If he's got a way to punish it, he'll show me now. Unless he's trying to get lucky thinking that I'm going to also not. But I will switch Mimikyu this turn if he doesn't switch, if he stays in. It's focus blasting, okay. So he's, he's trying to get lucky. He's trying to trying to be cheeky about it. Because if I'm him, I go Vika Vault, right? I'm going to go to Celesteela. Oops. <laughs> uh, he's staying in. Is he staying in to Focus Blast? Okay, no, he's just slow. Oh yeah, I forgot, he's slower than me. Vika Vault's in. I am Flamethrower. He probably thinks he's got a good matchup here. When is it worth for me to pop him? He doesn't know I have Flamethrower yet, right? I'm gonna protect the turn. I don't know, man. Am I gonna be able to do enough damage? I might need to wait an extra turn or two. I might need an extra turn or... <gasps> he wants Kamo on this. Should I get greedy? No. I'm still going to see if he's got a way to hit Mimikyu. Kamo is actually kind of a threat here, but I think without the Z, well, even with the Z move, I, I should survive it. Uh, the thing is, like, it just depends on. Hey, this flamethrower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good set. It's a good Kamo set. So does he stay in now, is the question. And I think he might. And if he doesn't, then at least we've hit the Vika Vault again. But I think he stays in. How is this possible? Focus Blast. That does a lot of damage. Okay, that's definitely within flamethrower range, though. Oh, attack fell. That's not helpful. I really want to keep Mimikyu alive, though. <laughs> like, really bad. He's got flamethrower for it. But I don't want to see a vault switch... Okay, Porygon's coming in. His Mimikyu is super hurt, too. Don't forget. Like, that's his last one. It's super hurt. Vega Vault's getting down there. It's about getting around this Kamo, and I think... Well, we haven't seen a Z move, right? And that's what I'm afraid of. I'm, I'm afraid of the Z Kamo. If I can get around Z Kamo... Because I think I need to land a Leech Seed, and then I think I can stall it out. My Celesteela will get a special attack boost, I think, if I get a KO, so that's not really helpful. Oh, it's Roost. What the flip? That's Roost Vika Vault. What the flip? What the flip? That's so random. Okay, what's my game plan then? 
Kamo should outspeed me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice Porygon, I think. Ice beam into Vault Switch. Kamo comes in. Veek Vault's no longer is it hurt enough for he hasn't seen flamethrower. Is it hurt enough for hmm? Like I want to, no, I'm going to get him. Or I can Toxic, and Toxic might actually end up doing what I need it to do. Can I stall it out if I Toxic? Probably a lot easier, yeah. Oh, wow. What a prediction. I would have flamethrowered there 100%. Also, I probably almost survived that. If I had more health, I would have survived it. I'm going to go to Celesteela because I think my game plan actually this whole time was Celesteela winning this game. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to land this Leech Seed. Unless you think he's Z-move. I'm going to Leech Seed right now. I survive a Z-move. Wow, this Kamo is becoming such an issue. Because there's nothing really else on my team besides that Mimikyu, but he burned me with his Mimikyu, which was a, such great foresight, because he knew that that was going to be the, his one problem. He knew he could win if he got rid of it. Okay. They used to call it Focus Miss, you know, because, like, 70 accuracy. But whatever. You know, does he switch on the fact that I'm probably going to protect? He did 144. I got the last prediction wrong. I probably need to get this one right. If I sub here and he switches, we're in the clear. If I protect and he attacks, we're going to survive another attack. If I'm him, I switch. If I'm him, I switch. I switch to Vika Vault. Celestia is going to protect. You want Kamo? You don't want that health back. You get a Vault Switch. You'll be fine. I won't have enough health if he does that. Well, I'll have two turns of leftovers. For 144 will not be enough. If I get up the Substitute, I probably can win the game. I probably do win the game if I get up the Sub. I'm going to bank on that. I'm going to... I think he switches. I think the Protect's way too obvious. I think it's way obvious. He's seen it before. He's seen it already. That's not what I thought was going to come in. You think that's the Z move? I think if he tries it now and I get up this protect, I actually will, my, my sub might actually survive it. If it's Z move, do it now, please. And please don't break my sub. If it breaks the sub, we're done. We're pretty much done for. It's the Z move. But it's not plussed. It should only do 25% of its normal damage. Normal damage should do up to 50, 60, 60, 60%. 15? So unless it's a crit. Oh, it's Twinkle Tackle. Wait, we survived that even better. That won't break sub. Oh, shoot. But the problem is this next attack totally will break sub. Hmm. <laughs> that was really... This is well played. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is I need to get the KO. Hopefully if he misses, it's even better. Damn it. That's probably going to pop sub. <sighs> that protect on Twinkle Tackle was huge. Give me the KO here. Oh my god. Is it a special attack boost? Oh, 
Oh my god, it is a special attack boost. Lefties this turn, we have a protect option. If Kamo comes in, we protect. I think if it's Vigavolt, I just flamethrower. I'm really hoping to see Vigavolt. Oh, now he knows I have flamethrower. Kamo, it's Kamo. I do have a protect turn. Cell Stealer beats the it beats the Vika. It beats the Vika. I outspeed and I one shot it now with this plus one. We also still have Mimikyu. But he's gonna flamethrower the whole time. Mimikyu cannot be Vika Vault because I got burned. So it really comes down to Celesteela versus both of these. And in order for this to work, I think I have to hit. I have to hit this Leech Seed. Mm-hmm. Sub was still intact, though, so that was really nice. He's not risking the Focus Miss. Because Focus Miss, you know, it's called Focus Miss. Hopefully for a reason. Yes. So the last time I predicted him, right? The last time I said, yo, you're going to switch. And he did. 144 is what he did last time, remember? I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. This time, two things. One, I did it last time, so he probably thinks, oh, he's not going to do it again. Okay, yeah, so I'm actually, or he thinks I'm going to do it again. He thinks I'm going to make the call. But the thing is, I'm not threatened if Vika Vault comes in, so I'm free to protect here. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I think Flamethrower does less than uh, Focus Blast is going to do. Yeah, it does way less. One forty-four. I don't know if my flamethrower is going to do like anything though, but I am at plus one. I'm talking about like twenty percent, like not enough. If he hits the focus blast, we're in trouble. But if I switch and then switch, can I get him? Oh shit, I don't know what to do. I wish I had Heavy Slam. <laughs> Story of my life. Well, the healthier on Celesteela isn't gonna help. I'm gonna flamethrower him. I'm not gonna have enough to sub. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough to sub. Chance for burn. He was hoping for a switch. That's a crit. That's not a crit? Wait, are you saying you're... He's not Specs, is he? Wait, why did that do so much? I'm not sure it should have done that much. Does he switch? No, he can't. Why did that do so much? I should have taken that way better. It's not even stab. Oh my god, I don't know. Are you Specs? Have we only ever seen, has he changed moves? Or is he just locked in one move? I think he's just locked in. I want to stay in, but I don't think I, I, I lose this and then I lose the game. So I have to switch here. Unless he knows that. And then he switches too. No, he didn't switch. But I think Mimikyu dies to this. If I survive here... Mm, I just needed to take one more Leech Seed. Oh, shit. Okay. Does he switch?
Does he switch? Because if he switches and we get up the sub, I think we win. Because the protect seems obvious. Can he afford to let that happen? Does he think he'll have enough damage if I protect? Because I'll have enough health to survive. But I need to get up a sub if he switches out. And if he doesn't switch out, I need to kill. If I'm him, I switch. <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. Here's the motherfucking deal. If I kill that, I get a special attack boost. If I get that special attack boost, I think I win. Can I do half to Vika Vault? Or is he gonna roost? Do I, do I protect and let him, give him a chance to roost or not? I'm not at plus one anymore. But he's not Assault Vest. I'm going for it. I, I, I cannot let him set up a roost. I should theoretically outspeed him. Because Porygon outsped him. <sighs> Go! <laughs> we did not need the crit. I'm pretty sure we didn't need the crit. I, I should be doing against max HP Vika Vault. 60 to 72% with my special attack. I could have used this crit next time. Like right now. Could have used it right now. Uh, now here's the question. I'm plus one and I needed that plus one in order for this to potentially KO. Do I do enough? Do I, can I do enough with this? I'm not sure if that's within two leech seeds. Also leech seed can miss. Well, first I think we protect no matter what. If he's locked. You think that was Specs and he was trying to get around my sub? I'm gonna hope that this is enough. Is that like 20%? God forbid, just do it, dude. Just just sell a steal, just do it. I think he's locked, but that goes around sub. Oh my god, what a game. I cannot believe that though. Oh my god, that was enough? It had to be it had to be specs. We have a chance to survive it. It had to be specs, and we had a chance to survive. Wow. Wow. And we do 21 to 25% with our flamethrower from this range. What a game. What a team. What a cool team. That's a better result than I guess the flamethrower missing or missing the KO just being just short. I tried so hard guys. I really did. I really, really put 110% into that match. I tried to make every hard predict I could. And I walked it down into what I thought we could win with. But not subbing means he gets us with a flamethrower.
70 to 80, 80 to 90, maybe 100, but he did over 100, right? At least Focus Blast would have got him. So I was trying to avoid at least a 70% win rate for him or 70% chance to, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a game. Like I said, this is easily the best week of Fight for First I've ever seen. I am not at all salty about that. That was incredible. That was incredible. That's the kind of stuff people want to watch. A 1911. That's where we're going to be, dude. One nine and one one. That's that's where we've been. That's where we're going to end up. That's where we've been. <laughs> that's, uh, I think that's sixth. Sixth or seventh. I mean, who cares? Who cares? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is the best week of Fight for First I've ever seen. This was great. I might, I'm going to go back and watch it myself after I post it. I'm going to be watching it, too. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. This was a long game. I put my heart and soul into it, but it just was not enough this time. Next time, though. Pick this back up. And we'll do our best. Thanks so much for tuning in. You guys enjoyed it. Share a series with a friend. The more views we get, the more battles I can upload. I'm sure you guys would like that. And other than that, I'll see you guys Monday, 12 p.m. PST, for another episode of Fight for First, where we are perpetually somewhere... Preferably in the top 10, aiming for one, happens for an episode, and then no longer forever again. Yeah, that's the that's the subtitle. Cool. Talk to you guys next time. Peace. Feeling kinda strange, feeling kinda off. Don't know what's really going on. I feel like something's up and